The Barricade Superstars Cooking Channel. Today we're going to be cooking with Martell Martinelli's Sparkling Apple Juice, Sweet Smoke Q Beef, Peach Nectar, and Agave Light. Alright, we got some Frontier Lump Charcoal. Gonna be using a day. Heard it's got some great burn. Let's put it in there, let it burn. Looks like some great brown pepper. You could use the bag to light this charcoal. It uh, looks like it's doing a pretty good job. It's wood. I thought it would be flooring. Uh, wow, okay. Look at there. Looking good. Like a frontier charcoal should. Got that. Today it's picking up competition. It's getting to where people are using frontier quite a bit. And uh, they got a great product right there. Let's see how it lights up. And that's been sitting in my garage for six months, so it's been a while. Oh, we're going to put a little lighter fluid on there. For all you purists out there, I'm breaking the rules. I realize it. I'm breaking the rules. But, uh, Yeah, he's trying to do a television show. It's I haven't got 150 people to light 40 grills for me and keep them lit in case I want to use one during the show. But I'm not going to say I won't ever have it. I don't have it yet. like it lit pretty easy it's going that lighter fluid probably most of it's gone it's just rolling right along here isn't it wow well we're gonna have to get fr frontier charcoal and a plus on that one good job that was awesome outstanding I might just go ahead and put that in the cooker. I don't have to wait and let it burn and get burned. We got some white corners already. Well, we got some big news. Forest lump gonna make a make a comeback. Forest lump will be back on the market here directly. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Alright, let's uh, go around here. We're going to go ahead and start on our... It's about 20 degrees out here. So, this uh, all these liquids out here, I'm afraid, are going to freeze. It might have raised up some since early this morning. Now, we did a... 24 pound uh, cold chuck. Now we're kind of going to do a comparison here of what a whole chuck can stack up to a brisket. And if you go and look on the brisket page or the barbecue beef page you'll see that there's a lot of eyes and a lot of stuff to work with 
in the chuck. A lot of stuff to work with to make a competition box. It's very, very impressive. And, uh, now, I promise you, by the time the day is over, uh, we will have a Mega Championship flavor profile that we're going to demonstrate for you. Now, I promise you, if you use this flavor profile, you will have the opportunity to win. Now, Big Papa Smokers and Simply Marvelous are pushing to say they're number one. They were involved in the winners of the Jack, the American Roll, and the Sands Club. Uh, but we got a call that throughout the year it was Smoking Guns Hot and OBQ Sweet that dominated the wins through the year of the biggest of the you know top teams. So uh, but those teams are going to move over to Big Papa Smokers and try it. Trying to make his chicken better, trying to make uh, some of his other parts of meat better. So, uh, a lot going on there. A lot of jockeying for position by Big Papa Smokers. I don't think that Smoky Guns and OBQ Sweet and Cimarron Doc are jo jockeying too much because they've dominated the KCBS competition market for 10 years. Now, that doesn't mean things aren't going to change. You know? and, uh, so we're going to keep an eye on that for you. See how things go. All right, we got us a 14-pound brisket. Uh, it's a IBP brisket, and what we want to do is get these fat kernels off between the flat and the point. And we're going to reduce the point quite a bit. Now, if you take all this fat off and the fat cap on the bottom, this thing will cook very quickly. It'll change your cooking times and temperatures. So, leave the fat cat on, cook with the fat cap down. Uh, this has got a really good demonstration of a brisket, of the point and the flat. From this angle that I'm at over here. Uh, now, The point and the flat have been, you know, mega over scrutinized, you know. Uh, it's been researched, looked at, talked about just over and over and over again. It's the pectoral muscle of a cow. You know, it's crazy, as many of these briskets that I've cooked on television, I've never taken pictures of it. And I need them for the, I need them for the website. Words and pictures are what Google based their analytics on, not on video. They could care less about a video on, on Google Analytics. Now, you learn more from a video because you can actually see it. If 
being worked with. Okay, I got my Frederick Dick sharpener. Now I got this from www.125west.com. www.125west.com. Now they donated these knives to me. And the sharpener. www.125west.com. Now, this sharpener is all over the competition circuit now. It works good. Uh, I think I'm going to start off with a little one. I just about, I use a little one more than I can handle it better. And I hate wasting meat and cutting off a lot of the fat kernel on this one this time is take off. It's like right there. I also got this uh, thermometer from uh, Maverick. And Maverick's got some great products and they're nice people. They're easy to work with. that kernel really you know you pull on it and the membrane kind of shows up separating so you stay out of the meat with it pulling it back like that now you know you can't get a better picture of the point to flatten the point than you can right here. That is cool. I gotta get a picture of that. Okay, let's see now. My knives are really sharp because I just sharpened it on the that flat starting out about an inch thick right here on that kernel. Look at there. Look at that big kernel of fat. Now I paid three three forty nine a pound or something for that big old fat kernel the same way I did now, it doesn't have to be wasted. I mean, you can make stuff out of that fat. They used to make soap and all kinds of stuff out of that fat kernel right there. And barbecue competition, don't make any mistake. It ain't about saving meat. It's about making the best tasting meat. You got one bite, you got two bites. If you turn in the three different kinds of brisket, the uh, flat slices, the uh, burn ends, some people call them they're not done right, they call them bubble gum. And then chop brisket. Uh, they may eat two bites, eat a bite of the uh, brisket slices and then eat a bite of the uh, 
burnt ends or chopped. They might eat three bites. It's not much. IBCA, all they're going to eat is the uh, beef fat gels, it doesn't melt. So, it still won't hurt to leave a little fat uh, because it'll change your cooking times. If I really lean this thing out, this thing's going to cook in no time, which means you'll burn it if you ain't careful. So you have to keep that in mind when you're getting ready to cook. What well, did you like a sharp knife? Something right here will flat trim it down. Now I'm getting the point and the flat separated now. Now I got this big hunk of fat right here. So I'm going to get on the flat and I'm going to, I mean on the point, I'm going to get on the point right here and I'm going to start shaving it down and get this big hunk of burning love right here. Hunk a hunk of burning love, whoa! Hunk a hunk of burning love, oh! Look at there. We're getting that flat. I mean, we're getting that point rolling right there. All right, so now it's going to continue to look at that in the middle right there. Well, I'm looking for partners on the U.S. Barbecue Association. I got a message from Matt Alexander yesterday. Uh, for 2016, we need to go ahead and get the U.S. Barbecue Association cranked back up. Uh, if you want to get involved as part of the board and actually be somebody in the association give me a call at 864-621-4958 anytime after four o'clock today because i'm gonna be working on this brisket till four o'clock but uh, now barbecue competition you want to come up with burnt ends so we got our flat pretty well separated some people just cook a flat you know they'll I think you can buy just a flat now uh, I'd never do that but Gotta put the grill back together because it'll get to burning too strong and I'll lose all my charcoal before I get ready to cook it. 
Wash my hands right quick. So we're getting down to it now. So now the amount of flat that you're going to leave for a comp is not that much. Uh, we're going to trim this, go ahead and trim this whole piece off. Now we're going to trim this off. Get this little bit of fat that's right there off. I'm going to save that beef for Molly. And we're going to. What we're going to try to do here is expose as much of this good beef as we can. All right, now, barbecue coach will show you that you draw a line and strip off a bag of this on this using this line up and uh, it's a good that's a good system to use I mean you're trying to get your burn in exposed where you can get the best meat now I've got barbecue coach all over my website because it's a uh, Excellent barbecue school, and uh, you can buy it once and go back as many times as you want. You know, it's not like you got to write it down over a certain weekend or whatever. It's it's there for life. Now, if you're IBCA. You're not worried about this, but if you're FBA, uh, this is something you might want to check out. I'll tell you, FBA's got the best boxes in the competition industry. They really, FBA is the best sanctioned body in the world. I mean, that's just all there is to it. And uh, if you're out there and you got a contest and the same team's coming in winning every year, Change it to an FBA and watch what happens. Watch what happens. Boy, look at that beautiful meat starting to be exposed. The other kind of depressing thing is look at the amount of fat I got off of it. You know, if you're out there and you're selling brisket in a restaurant, you've sacrificed a lot of fat. Now, you know, really in, in Texas, them selling all that brisket uh, leaves rooms for the butchers. So the restaurant will take the part people don't want. But the... Uh, People are open to buy the ribeye steaks, T-bone steaks, and all that that they do want. So I see there's a 
marriage there. That's a good relationship. Uh, but boy, I tell you, some of the Texas restaurants can cook some brisket. They can really cook some food. I want to say hey to all the restaurants in San Marcos we went to with the National Barbecue Association. And what a wonderful job you did. Uh, with all the stuff that you did. And uh, the National Barbecue Association Conference 2015 is coming up in March. It's coming up in March. March 3rd to the 7th. And it may be the most important thing that you ever did in your life going to it. And Linda Orson from The Shed is now the president. And I promise you, uh, my best promise, that if you go to the National Barbecue Association Convention and you sign up for their classes. Now really that's the whole deal. You gotta sign up for their classes. Uh, you're gonna come out of there with a new outlook on barbecue and a new outlook on life. It's just positive to be around those people. But the amount of knowledge you're gonna come out of there with is gonna be irreplaceable. And you know, if your business is in trouble and you haven't been, been doing too good in your restaurant, uh, it might be because of the way you're handling it. Because it's there to make. You know, the, the people out here love barbecue. But it's a business. It's got to be run a certain way in order to stay. You got to pay the bills. And that's the hard part of it. You got to pay those bills. Now, those burnt ends will cook faster than the flat that I've still got encased in that fat cap, but that's what you want. Now, that's a good competition uh, trim right there. And I'm going to leave that little bit of fat on there because we're looking for flavor in this flat. We're not looking to burn it. We're looking to moisturize it and cook it to perfection. second half of our cook a lot of the silver skin we can cook off that's the trend now turn it over and cook it off because all I'm gonna do right here is nick it it's hard to get it off of there without nicking it and but you got to get the big pieces of fat off because you're not gonna burn them off they're gonna gel and that big piece of fat right there is gonna do nothing but turn into a gel pretty good Nice piece of fat right there. If I raise my knife up, you get some of this cover off of here. It's just a little thin piece of meat that's not going to be used in our pieces, but just for the sake of uh, uh, consistency, we'll. Uh, All right, now, we've got some fat down the side right here. And it's been put through hot water. And you need a big knife to really cut it straight, but you're looking to straighten up. What you're wanting to do is get your fat cap eight and a half inches wide. So, you know, you could get a measuring thing and measure it right across here, make it eight and a half inches wide. Then you could mark it uh, so you can see where across the grain is. Now, this is a little bit thin up here. I'm not going to risk it, I don't have any way of measuring it out here, but. So I'm just going to cease and desist right there. And, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to mark it because I know the grain's going this way. So I'm just going to let that piece hang on there and cook with the rest of it. 
So, okay, that's our competition pr uh, trim. And uh, so we're going to move on to our injection now. And uh, we got this thing that we found at a barbecue contest. And it's called a shell bobber. And it's a bobber for a fishing rod. Fishing ammo.com f-i-s-h-i-n-g-a-m-m-o dot com there's nothing in the shell of course it looks like boom you know it's gonna shoot the shell but uh, we got this and I just thought it was cool I uh, got it somewhere at a barbecue contest I don't know which one or where but uh, as you can see right there there's the shell and hook it to a fishing line throw it out there and I guess it'll bob for fish that's cool <laughs> I thought that was cool so I went and put it on here today uh, I don't know I might have got that three or four years ago okay we got our sweet smoke cue and that's our sweet smoke cue moment da, 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 sweet smoke cue yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do half a bottle on this one uh, I don't think that we're gonna need the whole bottle by the time we got it down to the bare brass tacks, there's just not as much here as there is in a, a whole chuck. And uh, I need to shake it up right quick. Shake it up, baby. Really, you don't have to shake it up like you used to. I mean, it's, it's I guess it's pretty good. Okay, we're going to put half the bottle in, which would be about 12 ounces. That bottle's got 23 ounces in it. So we're going to get our Martinelli. And we're going to have to crack us the top. Put the whole bottle in it. And right, right there is some special apple juice. That apple juice is just a little better. Now, uh, shoot, I'm going to drink this one. Uh, Martinelli is a cut above when it comes to apple juice. It's just good. Good. All right. Now we got us some peach nectar. That's our secret ingredient. That right there will mag that out of this thing. Dun dun dun. Now that is our sweet smoke cue moment. But I'm gonna add agave nectar he didn't say put this in it but we're gonna go with a little half a bottle of agave nectar and boy that's good and uh now we're ready to inject so let me get my medium sized knife we're gonna Mix it up, baby. Mix it up, baby. Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on, baby. Now, come on. Come on and work it on out. Work it on out. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Now, I'm redoing Big Papa's Battle at Barbecue Junction. And, uh, we're going to come out with new. New improved episodes of the ones I did. And I'm probably going to redo a lot of stuff because I've got the tools to edit with now. Big time tools. Alright, we're going to get our injection and we're going to sit it right over in here. Here. And uh, I'm going to get our cheap injector because I don't have that big one anymore. I gave it away. We're going to come in from the side. Now, Butcher Barbecue says, 
you got to go along the grain, pulling back as you inject. You get in beside the grains, you have a better chance of instilling more flavor. Some people say that a very small bore needle will give you a better chance to get in better places. Pull it back and don't pull. Can you over inject? No way. You can put too much pressure on it and push the injection back out, but you can't over inject. Can you marinate a brisket? Sure. Sure, you can. Go this way with it. Going along the grains. Head to the mountains of bush beer. Now, what I meant to do today, in all honesty, was save some of the juice from. from the uh, uh, old Chuck Cook and use that today as part of the and there's pit teams out there using their previous cooks juice up to five or six times by the fourth or third or fourth time it's mega 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 strong but if you use sweet smoke q you don't have to do that sweet smoke q is that strong okay so i did all during the grain all along the grain got this thing now I'm gonna go against the grain that's been my problem I try to tell the truth and be a go against the grain nah, that's not a problem I'm proud of it If you try to do evil, they good may come. It's still evil. And the results are no good. So you can't do evil, the good may come. You have to do good, the good may come. Because God has all the results anyway. You're just making a fool out of yourself. Because the evil will come back. All right. One more time.
Okay, whoa. Well, we used all this much in there. So, it's quite a bit. I'm going to save the rest to pour in now. If you pour in uh, in a competition, they'll send back to say it's too salty. But, it sure does taste good at home. Alright, so now we're going to shake off a little of this pooling. Let it run off. I'm going to get rid of a lot of it. I like that extra moisture there. Some people are using mustard for a bonding agent. Why not uh, injection? Okay. Well, now we're going to start with our championship lineup. Now, this is what will put you in the winner's circle. And I'd like to apologize to OBQ once again on the air. OB, OBQ is and has been one of the top rubs in the world for 10 years. OBQ. OBQ sweet, folks. I got them ranked number three just because smoking guns is so red hot and Everglades seasoning is second to none. But OBQ out of Texas is a big dog and I know they're using it on both sides IBCA, K KCBS and FBA they're using it everywhere and uh, get yourself some OBQ today okay so what we're going to start off with on our rubs is Cosmo Q cow cover that's the first one I'm going to put on here and I'm going to do that for color, but boy, has it got some flavor. Uh, he didn't sponsor me on this. I bought this myself because it's that good. And Darren has got it going on, folks. And I wanted to make you a beautiful brisket before we started the competition season. And there's nobody else I'd rather use than Darren's. I don't care who's trying to bully the market. This is a bad dude right here. I don't have any Simply Marvelous. I've never tried it. I don't have any Big Papa Smokers. I never tried it, so I can't say either way who did what. It. All right, now I've got a uh, Parmesan cheese shaker, and I've got Cosmo Q Texas, and uh, I've got. Cosmo Q Dirty Bird. Now they got a Dirty Bird Hot. I just got the regular because that's what I like. But now Hot, Dirty Bird Hot is what they're using in competition. So we're going to get our Parmesan cheese injector. And I'm going to get the Dirty Bird. I'm going to open her up. I'll pour it half full. That's some pretty rough. Smoke, salt, pepper. I don't know what else it's got in there. But... Pictures is more important than video, so I'm going to shoot a picture right quick of that. All right, then we're going to get our dirty bird. Cosmo Q Dirty Bird. 
Oh, that's some beautiful stuff. Look at the red in that. Man, that's awesome. That there said bling bling. You see them guys going by with the uh all oh my homies uh with them spinner wheels. That's some spinner rub. Man, that's some bad stuff right there. <laughs> wow. All right, now we're going to mix it up. I'm going to go half and half on the... I don't have... If I had two shakers, I dang sure would mess, mix them up. Mess them up, yeah. Uh, but I don't have two shakers, so I'm just going to... I'm going to... Mix them up together in the shaker. What's the word? It's a dirty bird. Dirty bird, what's up? Morris Day in the Time, remember that? What's the word? <coughs> it's a dirty bird. Everybody line up, line up, line up. Buddy line up, go outside. What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? It's time to go outside. All right, now. Let's turn it up on the side and roll it just a little bit. And let's go cow cover. And that cow cover bottle so beautiful, I hate to mess it up. Uh oh, where's it at? Oh, here it is. It's time to go outside. Man, look at that. I'd like to give Cosmo Q a big old barbecue superstar to hell yeah right now. Ain't nothing wrong with giving hell yeah. Well, when it's good, it's good. All right, let's do some cow cover on top. Don't waste a whole lot on this flat because it's going to get trashed. All right, now we're going to put our mixture of uh, Dirty Bird in Texas. Boy, look at that cover. Ho, ho. Oh yeah, what you doing to me now? Right about now. Okay, let's see now. <laughs> All right, let's roll it up on this side and see if we got anything to cover. Yeah, a little bit right there. So we're going Cosmo Q cow cover. It's time to go outside. Bubble Guppies. If you got children, you watch Disney Junior or Nickelodeon, you'll see Bubble Guppies. Bubble, 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 bubble guppies. Bubble guppies. Bubble guppies. And every day on the show, toward the middle of the show, they'll say, What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? What time is it? It's time to go outside. Now you can't put too much on there. You gotta be able to see the meat through the rub. What? I ain't trying to be mean. But if you're a big enough sucker to do that. You gotta put some on there. Folks, I guarantee you they loading it down. You can't instill no flavor from outside of a piece of meat unless you put some on there. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I mean, I ain't playing. We didn't hit this edge with this. Because a lot of that will get cooked off, rolled off when the juices start rolling. Now, the way you, you test a, a brisket if you need to wrap it is liquid will start coming pooling on top of it when you start seeing the liquid pool on top of it on the flat you need to get it out of the smoker and wrap it all right we're going to end it off with just another little shake of cow cover this stuff rolls out easy i'm gonna 
go ahead and load it down one more time with the uh, dirty bird slash what's the word it's the dirty bird <laughs> dirty bird hot you know that's a good looking woman whoa all right let's see now now only let it sit there 15 minutes if you uh let it go more than 15 minutes Uh, if you do it overnight, it draws all the fluid out of it. And, uh, Darren told me that himself. Cosmo Q is an excellent system, folks. And, you know, I challenge everybody. You can go right there on the Barbecue Superstars website. You can buy the whole line of injections and rubs. He's coming out with sauces now. You can buy the whole nine yards right there on Barbecue Superstars, and he'll sit there and ship it out to you. You don't have to look. Just go to the uh, brisket page. Now, the burnt ends, you know, I don't have a lot of fat on it. It's going to cook up quick. So, that's a big moment right here. Look at there. That's like barbecue heaven sitting there. We got our injection left over to put into the wrap so we're gonna go two hours because I've got that burnt end so exposed we'll go two hours and then we'll come back and wrap it uh, and that's the difference in time when you strip it down pretty heavy now the brisket itself is not gonna you know be cooking way too fast but uh, because I didn't really strip any of the back off of it, but them burn ends will have to be wrapped in two hours. Okay, let's move over to the smoker builder. Now, I need to get some white paint to paint the top of this, but I love it the way it is, man. It's about poor people doing the best they can. I just love it the way it is. Ooh, man, that frontier charcoal has done good. We're up at 375 degrees right now. I'm going to slow it down just a little bit. That is going to make for a beautiful sizzle when I open that can up and uh, we set that uh, beautiful brisket down in that can. That's going to make a nice setup. Well, let's go ahead and take the lid off. I'm trying to let the uh, let the brisket soak just a little bit in the marinades. <sighs> Boy, look at that brisket. Look at that brisket. Wow. Charcoal is cranked up, folks. I've got that plate in between the brisket and the uh, Charcoal, so when it drips, you know, we'll drip right down in it. Okay, we're going to be back in two hours. And we'll wrap our brisket, go through some more championship type stuff. Uh, what time is it right this second? It is. So one o'clock 
at one o'clock we'll come back and we'll wrap our brisket. We appreciate everybody coming by today. Daryl from Barbecue Superstars saying, get out there and get your brisket today. Get on Barbecue Superstars, buy some Cosmo Q, and cook yourself some championship brisket. Barbecue Superstars Cooking Channel. Man, look at there. That thing is ready to wrap. That thing is beautiful. Wow. We're going to get our stuff together out here. I'm really impressed with that Frontier Charcoal. It's done an outstanding job. It's got some great heat to it. lasting a long time, too. Shoot, Frontier might be the bomb. Because our trim was so good, uh, it's going to take a little bit more, I mean a little less time to cook it. That thing's getting done quick. Our heat's been really good too, though. That, uh, our uh, heat has been really good. Okay, we're gonna do our second phase now. Wow, look at that. Man, that's awesome. I ain't cooking for two hours. Wow. Okay, we're gonna put some cow cover back on here. We're gonna put our mixture of uh, Dirty Bird and Texas on here. And we're gonna bowl it up. We're gonna put all the rest of our 11.75 ounces of uh, agave nectar on it. That's it for that one. We'll get one. Two. 
too. Yeah, just about out of tinsel on that roll. I like the way you work it. Very good to me. I like the bag. Bag it up. Man, that's going to go good. Now we're going to get the rest of our injection. And we're going to pour all of it right here on it. We're going to go back and put it back in our smoker. Well, we'll have some pictures of the finished product on Facebook. It probably won't come back. Or this. Cook it probably three or four hours now. Yeah, she's done.